Hello and welcome to Bloke on the Range. Just a quick little video explaining how ejection works on a Lee Enfield. Specifically this number four, but they all work the same. Now, the ejector screw. Everyone knows about the ejector screw. It's the ejector screw. It's there and it sticks in and the uh, rims hit it and stuff. Um, actually, not the case. Uh, the ejector screw there is for ejecting live rounds from the magazine just by doing this, because the Lee Enfield is a controlled feed and there's no need to actually close the rifle and make it properly live and dangerous uh, to empty the magazine. You can just pump it back and forth like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is load five rounds and I'm going to fire a couple which will eject and show you the difference between ejecting an empty case and a live round. So, live round. Ejector screw is missing, however, with a live round, it won't. Again. Right, now I've uh, put the ejector screw back in. I'll put two live rounds in. And now they'll eject fine. So I'll attempt to explain what's going on and show you as best I can. But ejection actually takes place with friction against the side wall of the receiver. And you can see that area of the receiver there that's polished. That's basically where the uh, rim of the case bears under friction. Now, the extractor claw is there. And not only does it hook over the rim, but it pushes the empty case against the left side wall of the receiver. So if I zoom in there, you should be able to see that it's being pushed against the left side wall of the receiver. And it's actually friction that flicks the empty case out. So let's set this up again with an empty case. Now watch the point at which it ejects. It's about there. Bolt. The bolt is miles forward of the charger bridge and miles and miles and miles further than the, uh, than the ejector screw. And again, for good luck, so you can see what's going on. See? Now with a live round, A, it's heavier, B, it's too long. See, it's only clear at this point. All right? Now this might go if I flick it. Yeah, that one went, but only just. But now the unload drill, let's put two live rounds in here, the unload drill with the Lee Enfield is just going like that. That is when the ejector screw comes into play. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please consider supporting us on Patreon and uh, hope to see you again on the range sometime. Bye.